Good morning, everyone. Uh, you are watching a live uh, daily market outlook uh, for Tuesday, 17th of July, 2012, prepared by Windsor Brokers. As usual, we start with a, a brief uh, comments of the markets and the, the key events. Uh, we'll go through the uh, day's uh, calendar and then uh, go in-depth uh, technical analysis uh, for a major uh, currencies and commodities uh, with the questions and answers uh, session uh, uh, coming at the end uh, where you can uh, submit your uh, questions and written and then uh, we'll be answering the questions should uh, uh, cover any of the uh, parts that uh, could uh, are not uh, covered uh, during the session uh, anything related uh, economies uh, analysis uh, anything just uh, you might find the uh, interesting and you don't find an answer during our uh, regular uh, session. As uh, <clears throat> important uh, events are due today with the full calendar, uh, we hope that uh, it's going to be quite a busy day uh, in the markets as uh, Europe uh, starts uh, today with the UK's inflation and the retail price index uh, as well as uh, European and German uh, zoo economic sentiment uh, quite important. Uh, uh, releases uh, with the speech of uh, Bank of England Governor uh, King uh, and uh, sta America start with manufacturing sales from Canada, uh, CPI from uh, <coughs> pardon, uh, US uh, and of course the key release uh, today, key event is the testimony of uh, Ben Bernanke, uh, the first day of uh, today's testimony to the Congress. Uh, uh, that will be the main uh, subject of course about uh, <coughs> uh, further steps of uh, Fed uh, and uh, of, of uh, pardon of Fed, uh, the, the policy steps uh, uh, that will be taken by central bank uh, to <clears throat> ease the current uh, pressure and uh, stimulate uh, global economic uh, growth. As uh, the uh, the peers of the uh, Ben Bernanke from other uh, big central banks have already eased their policies. Uh, most likely the. Uh, Bernanke will uh, hint uh, some uh, some action uh, similar to this in his uh, today's testimony. As said, uh, most of investors are awaiting uh, these releases, especially the Bernanke's uh, testimony that uh, will give us some uh, more clues about uh, uh, further uh, uh, movements. Uh, as uh, risk on uh, sentiment has uh, been established in past uh, two, three days, basically from uh, last Friday, the positive uh, tone maintains uh, uh, euros uh, send uh, toward, against the US dollar with the, the pair uh, moving around 23 zone uh, during the uh, uh, early hours of European session with the also sterling being uh, quite uh, well supported after uh, breaking above uh, 156 uh, barrier. A dollar yen is uh, in a brief uh, corrective uh, mode after uh, yesterday's break below important and uh, critical support of, of the short term uh, uh, range uh, floor at 79.00 currently uh, still unable to break above uh, this level on its uh, correction uh, higher while uh, dollar Swiss continues to tick uh, lower on its recent reversal from 98.71 peak. Uh, more support was seen for the commodities as uh, crude oil uh, hits levels again above uh, 88 uh, level uh, steady holding, holding uh, steady and awaiting uh, basically uh, today's uh, Bernanke's speech on hopes of uh, more policy steps uh, uh, to stimulate uh, global uh, uh, economic growth uh, that uh, will are expected uh, from uh, Fed uh, to be released uh, today or tomorrow on its uh, today's meeting uh, with gold also uh, holding a steady just under $1,600 per ounce uh, awaiting the Bernanke's uh, speech. A quick look on uh, today's uh, calendar to see <clears throat> in details uh, about uh, releases that uh, I mentioned at the beginning as uh, uh, monetary policy minutes have already been released uh, from Australia with uh, their central bank uh, uh, comment uh, saying uh, that uh, uh, no need uh, for rate cut uh, in their uh, July meeting as uh, uh, the meeting because of uh, material easing has had already been uh, delivered and the data showed that the domestic uh, economy had more momentum uh, than the first uh, thought, yet uh, minutes of the Reserve Bank of Australia uh, of uh, July 3rd the meeting released uh, today also showed the board members believed uh, it was right uh, for, for, for policy to remain uh, stimulative. Uh, still to come, uh, 11, uh, pardon, 8.30 GMT is the 
inflation from uh, UK for from uh, Great Britain pardon for uh, June and uh, no changes expected on the uh, yearly release at 2.8 percent the same uh, like uh, the May's release while the core CPI is uh, expected uh, according to today's forecast to tick to 2.3 percent compared compared to 2.2 percent uh, uh, release of uh, month of uh, May retail price index uh, uh, for uh, June is expected uh, according to today's forecast uh, to tick lower at 3 percent compared to 3.1 percent of uh, previous release. Uh, German uh, and the Eurozone zoo economic sentiments are due at uh, <coughs> pardon, uh, 9 o'clock GMT. These are uh, July re releases. Uh, while uh, German uh, sentiment is uh, seen uh, slightly deteriorating uh, with minus 17.3 uh, forecast seen uh, for today compared to 16.9 of uh, uh, June's release. Uh, Eurozone's uh, economic sentiment is uh, set for a slight improvement according to today's forecast as 80, 80, minus 18.3 is the consensus compared to minus 20.1. Uh, <clears throat> Bank of England Governor uh, Mervyn King is uh, due to have speech at the same time at 9.00 GMT and uh, basically the, uh, the main focus uh, will be the recent uh, case uh, with the Barclays and uh, basically this is uh, going to put a lot of uh, pressure on uh, uh, Mr. King, uh, King's today's uh, uh, release and the uh, speech. The manufacturing sales uh, are opening from Canada are opening the American uh, session at 12:30 uh, GMT. May's release is uh, uh, forecasted at 0.7 percent uh, compared to minus 0.8 percent of uh, release of April. Uh, U.S. Uh, inflation for June is uh, uh, expected to show no change at uh, zero percent while the core CPI is also expected at 0.2 percent, uh, identical to the uh, May's release. Uh, Canada, Bank of Canada is uh, due to uh, release their overnight uh, rate at 13.00 uh, GMT, uh, unchanged the policy is forecasted for today at 1%. Uh, Long-term purchases from uh, US at 1300 GMT for May are expected uh, at uh, forecasted at 45.7 billion US dollars compared to uh, quite optimistic uh, compared to 25.6 billion of the April's release at 1315 GMT capacity utilization rate for June a slight improvement forecasted uh, for today at 79.2 percent compared to 79 uh, percent uh, of uh, May's release and industrial product production in June is also uh, set for improvement according to the today's forecast at 0.4 percent uh, compared to minus 0.1 percent of uh, May's release. Uh, Bernanke, ben Bernanke is due at uh, 1400 GMT as said this is the uh, key release uh, of uh, today. At the same time uh, US uh, housing market index for July is uh, expected at 30 according to today's uh, consensus uh, slightly better than the June's release at uh, 29 uh, uh, that was at 29, pardon, at, and, and the last uh, speaker from FOMC uh, member uh, Sandra Pianalto is due at 17.15 uh, uh, GMT and that was uh, all for today's uh, calendar that is uh, quite uh, full. We're going to take a look now at the <clears throat> major currencies and commodities and see the latest uh, movements and the expectations uh, for today. Starting uh, with the euro that is in uh, steady ascent from last uh, Friday's uh, uh, double bottom at uh, 121.60 zone that was interrupted by dip uh, on uh, yesterday's dip uh, down to 121.74 where the pair uh, found uh, good support and the subsequent uh, strong rally uh, regained the previous uh, high at uh, 122.70 expand, ext extending gains pardon that through 123.00 as uh, uh, key uh, psychological barrier at the upside and uh, uh, touching so far 123.11 uh, unable to stretch further as uh, 55 days uh, moving average on the four hour chart capped the the upside there for now however the 55 days uh, exponential moving average now moved uh, sideways from its descending mode uh, signaling that uh, possible uh, reversal and further extension higher is uh, quite likely as uh, studies uh, on the four hour chart are uh, quite supportive at uh, this point. Uh, hourly structure has seen some corrective uh, move lower 
on overbought uh, conditions with the uh, dips so far being uh, contained at uh, 122.75 uh, on our uh, morning uh, technical uh, outlook uh, written one that was distributed uh, we saw uh, ideal support at around 122.70.60 uh, close to 38.2 percent of the up move from uh, 121.74 to one uh, to pardon 123.11 uh, for now the support was found just above uh, our levels and just above uh, 122.72 to 20 days exponential uh, moving average uh, with uh, fresh strength now emerging uh, as the uh, picture remains uh, still uh, a positive uh, further uh, stretch uh, of uh, 121.60 double bottom is uh, seen quite likely but uh, we have uh, some other uh, important uh, barriers to be cleared in order to confirm as uh, the first one comes on the overnight speak at 123.11 where is also 55 days exponential moving average and the 123.33 uh, 10th of uh, July peak along with the uh, 123.66 uh, low of uh, 5th of July as well as 38.2% uh, percent retracement of down move from 126.91 uh, to 121.61 uh, uh, that will uh, be confirmation of the short-term uh, uh, double bottom and uh, will open way for a stronger recovery uh, daily structure is uh, now uh, still in the quite negative uh, territory but some improvement is uh, seen uh, require uh, the break above uh, 124 minimum 124 uh, previous low and the uh, 20 days uh, moving average on the daily chart is uh, required to uh, confirm uh, the pairs uh, recovery and the prevent of uh, of pre prevent pardon the single currency of a further slide as the risk still remains uh, at the downside uh, with the 121.50 seen as the next uh, downside target ahead of uh, more significant and psychological uh, 120 support that was seen as the uh, short term target as uh, the basically euro dollar remains in the uh, downtrend the longer term downtrend of uh, uh, beginning of uh, 2012 uh, peak at uh, 134.85 this was basically end of uh, February uh, high so far uh, dipping uh, to 121.61 as said uh, unless uh, 124 uh, zone is regained this is also broken uh, uh, trend line of uh, 122.87 through 124.00 uh, uh, that will uh, bring some more positive tone on the larger picture uh, most likely scenario would be end of the correction uh, as uh, this current uh, bounce higher is seen as uh, corrective and extension of the broader a downtrend of the latest uh, down leg from uh, 126.91 uh, uh, that so far hit the levels just above our downside target at uh, 121.50 the cable contain, uh, continues uh, to uh, trend uh, higher of uh, 154 uh, uh, base uh, with a stronger rally through 155.76 and the uh, uh, psychological 156.00 barrier also denting the descending bear trend line of uh, 157.76 uh, connecting a uh, 157.21 high that was uh, taken out at uh, 156.55 level a brief uh, corrective action was uh, seen overnight but uh, uh, just uh, I would say rather uh, consolidative uh, action than uh, corrective uh, despite uh, hourly studies being uh, quite uh, overextended at this point uh, still a stronger uh, focus uh, towards the upside keeps the price uh, well supported a clearance of the recent high at uh, 156.77 posted uh, overnight is expected uh, to open our next uh, uh, targets uh, 157.00 is around figure resistance and uh, 157.21 peak of uh, 2nd of July I had a fair more significant high of uh, uh, 1.50 I do apologize there is a small technical problem okay at 157.76 20th of uh, June peak uh, more uh, supportive are, uh, is outlook on the four hour chart however uh, the RSI is approaching the overbought territory this uh, could be signal uh, uh, for some corrective action yet uh, no uh, any firm signals that uh, a correction will occur as a brief uh, set at the beginning brief uh, a reversal was contained just under the 
a recent high at 156.40 with the 20 days exponential moving average at 156.30 now on the pinning the uh, advance uh, only risk uh, would be seen on break below 156 uh, that uh, will allow uh, for a stronger recovery a key support on the downside is at uh, 155.16 and the uh, break uh, here with the sideline the short term bulls <clears throat> The dollar yen uh, undergoes a brief uh, corrective action uh, as a part of the larger uh, uh, down move uh, following a upside rejection at 80.00 and yesterday's uh, crack of a uh, uh, very important uh, 79 uh, level that marked the uh, uh, previous uh, range floor as well as uh, 200 days uh, moving average uh, as uh, daily studies now turned into the negative territory and the uh, four hour and the hourly ones already holding uh, uh, in the red. Uh, more action towards the downside uh, is seen as a likely scenario at this point. Uh, some improvement seen on the hourly indicators as they as they started uh, pointing higher, but yet uh, no break seen or, or uh, no break above uh, um, their midline seen, keeping the focus uh, more at the downside as as uh, 79.00 as previous uh, strong support now acting as. Uh, a strong resistance still keeps the upside uh, protected along with descending a uh, 55 days moving average. I would say at this point only regain of uh, 79, uh, 30, 79, uh, 50 levels uh, uh, would uh, prevent a pair of for, from further slide and uh, uh, bring it back uh, to the range. Otherwise, uh, likely scenario would be extension through uh, 7880, 7860 zone to uh, possibly uh, to uh, focus 7800 as uh, round figure support and uh, a possible extension towards a uh, key short term uh, level at 7765 low of uh, 1st of uh, June 2012. Uh, today's as yesterday's close occurred uh, uh, below the uh, 200 days moving average uh, more uh, more downside uh, pressure is uh, seen uh, on the dollar yen as uh, studies uh, on the daily chart, as I mentioned earlier, uh, broke below their uh, center lines and all pointing uh, lower that uh, keeps uh, focus firmly at the downside. The dollar Swiss uh, remains in the near term uh, corrective uh, mode of uh, recent uh, peak at uh, 98.71 uh, posted uh, last uh, Friday with uh, slightly below 23.6 of the entire move from uh, 94.61 to uh, 98.71 uh, being the trade so far with the uh, 55 days uh, exponential moving average so far containing dips but uh, uh, as outlook remains quite negative and the hourly studies uh, for our studies now attempting uh, below the center lines and the loss of uh, initial uh, bullish momentum sees a threat of a further reversal. Uh, important support lies at 97.36 ahead of uh, 97.14.38.2% uh, Fibonacci retracement. Uh, quite a negative tone is uh, seen in the in the pardon uh, hourly chart as brief uh, corrective action of 97.52 overnight uh, low. Uh, showed uh, just brief corrective action towards uh, 97.82. Uh, basically, the pair is uh, currently in the fifth uh, wave of uh, 98.71 as the first, second, third, and fourth corrective one uh, that we also mentioned in our uh, morning uh, technical report was ideally expected uh, to reverse under 98.00. That basically happened. Uh, the fifth uh, wave. Uh, is seen uh, according to the the third uh, corrective, uh, the second uh, corrective one uh, is expected to uh, stretch down towards uh, 97 zone. 97.14 is seen as a, a Fibonacci support, and the 97.00 as uh, uh, round the figure support. Uh, our larger picture is uh, still holding the uh, positive uh, structure, and unless uh, break uh, below 97, where is also the two, uh, 20 days. Uh, a moving average on the daily chart uh, will keep the uh, bulls in play as uh, any reversal above 97 will be seen just uh, as an end of uh, correction for possible uh, fresh attack uh, higher break above uh, 98.71 to open uh, 99.00 and then 99.50 that marks 61.8% uh, retracement of the larger uh, 117.30 to 70.67 uh, uh, descent. 
as said the risk will be seen on the break uh, below 97 level that will uh, allow for a deeper reversal and sideline immediate uh, bulls in favor of uh, a stronger corrective action and uh, crude oil as uh, mentioned it's uh, still uh, uh, quite uh, supported after a break above uh, short term uh, range top at 86.46 now approaching our uh, key upside barrier uh, recent high posted on 5th of July at 88.97 with the 88.68 seen so far as said uh, mounting tense tensions in the uh, Gulf and the possibility of uh, a further monetary easing is expected uh, from uh, today's and tomorrow's uh, Bernanke's uh, testimony are seen quite uh, supportive for the um, for the energies uh, as uh, from technical point of view the good support was found at 83.64 as a part of the uh, strong bounce from uh, 77 uh, uh, 27 57 double bottom uh, see ending the corrective pullback of uh, 88.97 and uh, looking for a further extension higher for possible test of uh, next uh, significant levels at 89.00 uh, and then 90.00 uh, with the uh, uh, break above 89 expected uh, to confirm the uh, double bottom uh, pattern that uh, will be signal uh, for possible uh, stronger uh, recovery as uh, mentioned in some of our previous uh, uh, sessions the Saudi oil minister said that ideal uh, uh, price for the energy for the crude oil is uh, basically around uh, 100 to 120 dollars and the uh, producers can always uh, uh, manipulate and play with this uh, levels and can uh, bring uh, the oil uh, back uh, to hundred dollars as our uh, break point and the psychological uh, level despite the current uh, situation in the world uh, economies that uh, most of the world the big, big world economies are in the steep descent and uh, showing uh, no any signal of uh, any any more any f uh, more serious uh, and stronger uh, recoveries that uh, basically uh, trigger the the recent uh, sharp uh, uh, fall in the oil prices as uh, fear uh, rises uh, of uh, further slowdown in the economies that will uh, directly affect the demand for the energy and a quick look at uh, yellow metal that is also awaiting uh, today's uh, Bernanke's uh, uh, testimony with the positive uh, tone uh, dominating in the near term action of uh, 150 uh, pardon 1554 low of uh, 12th of July that uh, so far peaked uh, the levels just uh, under uh, 1600 uh, our uh, initial uh, resistance and the previous high of uh, 10th of uh, July a positive uh, tone but uh, a slightly sideways seen on the hourly chart while uh, four hour studies are improving now breaking above their center lines and seeing potential of further extension higher as set uh, clearance of 1600 that is also close to 61.8 percent retracement of the down move from uh, 15 uh, pardon 1624 down to uh, 1554 is required to avert immediate downside risk and refocus upside levels uh, 1624 uh, 1633 and uh, 1640 uh, more clues uh, we will have after today and uh, tomorrow's uh, testimony of uh, Ben Bernanke and that was all from uh, us for uh, today's session and now you can uh, submit your uh, questions There is a question of uh, dollar index. Yes, it's uh, tradable. Whatever is uh, listed in uh, uh, our platform is, of course, uh, tradable. Let me just. Either I don't see it or it doesn't exist. Uh, it doesn't matter where we're going to make it uh, from uh, here as uh, basically dollar uh, remains under uh, pressure the hourly structure uh, on dollar index uh, remains uh, quite uh, negative uh, uh, quite overextended uh, studies are yet not showing any signal 
of uh, reversal. Just change the settings to have it uh, more clear. But uh, uh, for our uh, structure is again uh, is also losing uh, ground after a, a reversal of 83, 83, 12 of uh, last week's uh, high. Uh, broke uh, some uh, important uh, supports at 83.20 and uh, 83.00 80, as uh, way to 91 since so far breaking below the moving averages uh, as we can see the loss of momentum and the uh, MACD under the uh, midline seeing a uh, more uh, potential of uh, more uh, easing and the corrective uh, action of the latest uh, rally from uh, 81.43 that peaked at uh, 83. 83 is uh, currently the 38.2 percent uh, exactly uh, has been uh, tested uh, so far with the break here. This is uh, basically a quite uh, significant uh, support as we have also the previous uh, uh, high at 82, uh, 82, 88 of uh, 28th of uh, June seen as a break point and uh, a further easing uh, would be looking for a 50% at uh, 82, 63 and uh, 61.8 at 82, uh, 35. A larger uh, picture is uh, still uh, holding the positive tone but uh, uh, seems that uh, uh, sort of uh, run, uh, running out of uh, steam at uh, this point, uh, yet uh, we need to see the clear break uh, uh, below, I would say 82, uh, 82, 80, 90 and uh, 82, 0, 0 in order to confirm, otherwise the strong uptrend is still uh, uh, well in play and basically the trend line support at 82, 60 uh, would be a signal of uh, stronger easing as uh, uh, the pair is uh, losing momentum but uh, uh, also the MACD's uh, bullish, uh, pardon, bearish reversal, scene, uh, bearish divergence seen on the uh, daily chart might be signal of uh, a stronger uh, reversal as uh, dollar came under uh, uh, pressure in past uh, couple of days with uh, more uh, uh, clues uh, to be given uh, after uh, Bernanke's uh, speech and yes uh, if you ask about uh, uh, trading uh, you can uh, trade there is another Yes, as, as I said, you can trade whatever is listed there, it's also the, uh, tradable and uh, we can add always this instrument to our uh, uh, technical, uh, uh, on the daily, daily technical uh, sessions, so you can just ask uh, for this and uh, in the questions and answer and we'll do it, uh, uh, we'll do the analysis of uh, dollar index uh, like we do the other uh, instruments. Uh, if we have any further uh, questions, please. The Aussie dollar. Okay, it, it remains uh, well supported after uh, finding uh, ground at uh, 101 zone on uh, 12th of uh, July and the subsequent uh, strong rally through the uh, the bear trend line of uh, 103.26 and the previous high at 102.80 that was I think yesterday mentioned as our uh, break point so far extended uh, against to 103.07 uh, crack of uh, 103 as psychological barrier keeps uh, uh, sentiment uh, positive and uh, comes closer to our key upside barrier at uh, 103.26 as the uptrend uh, uh, short term uptrend of uh, 1st of uh, June low at 95.79 now remains in play and the pair uh, uh, attempts again through 102.76 uh, 200 days uh, moving average uh, break clear break here and today's close above uh, basically this level and above uh, 103 uh, would be well, very uh, very supportive uh, and the clearance of uh, uh, 103.26 previous peak of uh, 5th of uh, July to open a uh, way for a, a stronger uh, correction, uh, corrective action of uh, the larger uh, down move from uh, 108.55 to uh, 95.79 with the uh, Fibonacci levels uh, 
as seen at 83.68, the last one is 61.8 percent uh, on a clear break here. And uh, then uh, we'll be looking for a 104, 104.50.70 uh, levels on a break. Uh, near term uh, outlook has said remains positive, uh, though uh, overextended conditions on hourly chart still see risk as stochastics are uh, turning uh, towards the downside series of uh, corrective action initial uh, support at uh, uh, 10280 previous uh, resistance uh, and also significant ones at uh, 10250. I would say a uh, loss of uh, uh, 10250, 10240 uh, zone would be risky while uh, break uh, below uh, 102 would uh, sideline the near term bulls and they allow for a deeper uh, reversal. If we have any other question for today or it seems no. Okay, in this case, if no questions, uh, we will uh, end uh, today's uh, session. And uh, I would like to thank you all for uh, being with us. Uh, we expect to see you again tomorrow and our, at our regular session that will start at uh, standard time at uh, 7.00 GMT. Until uh, then, I wish you a nice day and uh, very successful trading. Good luck.